Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 16, Hustle League Round of 32, Group G. You have Attentat starting in the upper right-hand corner is the Blue Zerg. And 6 o'clock location, we have a friend of mine, Tarpman, who I have to root for. Well, I guess that's the wrong way to put it. Who I am rooting for. Part of an old gaming community that I was a part of uh, called Joe.2. I believe he also snuck out into a... Uh, really old school i mean it's an irc server that is very eclectic and silly for a game that I didn't really play all that much uh but it was ikaruga based which is basically the brood war of shumps is my understanding got g5 out there in twitch land which is like big audience now we got important people in the chat we got advil out there we got g5 got skin crawler great people esky redmond just a really good audience makes me more motivated to actually cast the game Overlord first build for Tarp. It looks like we are going to see an Overlord first build for Attentat as well. Power Bond, I could see Zergling speed being actually a pretty solid play on this map just because there's so much room to run the Zerglings around mid map. Maybe a Zergling Flood. It is a much wider choke to try to pull off really aggressive hatchery play. Or, I guess, aggressive style macro. Both players opening up with the Overlord. We're gonna, it looks like Tarp is gonna go for the 12 hatch on the three player map. We do see the Overpool opposite side for Attentat. And this is gonna be a tough defense. Powerbomb rush distance is not gigantic. It is, it's not a, a, as close as, say, Largo, but it's still pretty close. And it looks like it is going to be 9 pool speed. Theoretical advantage, though, goes to the... They say the later you put your spawning pool down, the more av more advantage you end up with. But I'm going to say, more often than not, when I've seen players open up with the 9 pool or over pool style, they have had more success either from getting faster layer tech or from whatever the build has been otherwise, as far as a lot of ZVZ that I've been seeing. Extractor plopping down. Hatchery to follow, and since it is going to be, yeah, exterior base hatchery, six circlings being constructed. As long as larvae are saved, there should be plenty of larvae for Tartman to produce the zerglings by the time uh, they make it across towards the base. Theoretically, and it looks like it is going to be zergling speed rather than layer initially. The Zer because of the Overlord Scout, Antet knows where to send those initial zerglings. Pool finishes. Six Zerglings in construction. They're making their way out. Looks like they're holding up, so only a single Zergling being sent out. Tactical play for At. Wants to make sure he doesn't reveal the sheer numbers. He doesn't know what his opponent did otherwise. Has constructed additional Zerglings, but maybe wanting to hide information here. Lair being upgraded. Lair on the opposite side for Tarpman as well. So he's down on Zerglings, but has the drone lead. Has a, a sufficient amount of Zerglings to go ahead and repel this attack. Although, no! The Zergling manages to sneak through. And Zerglings aren't breaking off to go ahead and engage it as well. So they might be able to... Looks like he's trying to interrupt. Is he going to get a drone kill? No, get out of there, drone! Ugh, manages to get a drone kill. Tarp still holds the lead, but not helpful. Looks like he is going to go for a Zergling Flood himself. However... He does not have Zergling speed to support this, so this Zergling just moves fast around the map. So superior scouting information in that regard. Natural expansion up. More Zerglings being produced. Opposite side. Second drone does not fall. Spire planting. So it is going to be a little bit ahead. One critical aspect is, is whether that second gas can be secured. Attentat dropping a couple drones to get a few critical buildings out and a Zergling Flood now moving across the map. Tarp needs to spread these Zerglings out. I think he has sufficient numbers. He just needs to get the spread. Is down a little bit in supply as he's up three drones right here, but he does have home field production advantage. His own Spire is going to finish a little bit earlier. The Zerglings moving in, a drone out on the lines. It's going to join the fray, battle drone. And unfortunately, again, yeah, because the locked-in spread and concavity, Attentat getting the better end of this engagement, and it looks like going to ride that to victory. GG 
Also, with Zergling speed, it makes it they're just smarter when they have speed. Uh, so my buddy loses this match. He'll move on to loser's bracket. It's not his tournament life yet. He still has opportunities. But Attentat will move on to the winner's bracket, which will move to immediately because they do not have replays from the other side of the bracket, which was between Bloomster and Massico. So we'll see who ended up in the winner's grouping. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.